All right, so it looks like all the in-betweens are done. So basically it can go smoothly to this extreme from that one. It's all, it all goes nice and smooth, as you can see. Now what I started to do here is basically copy and paste these, you know, frames going backwards. So you'll see, you know, from, from this is that, this is the main extreme, then it goes there, 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 and so forth. And basically I'm going to just finish it going, going to, uh, to this side. Um, and then we'll be able to preview basically the, the full motion of, of this uh, slither you know, uh, character. All right, so now I have all the frames happening. Uh, basically, uh, I just put a little extra separation here uh, between the frames that are actually going backwards in time uh, until it, get back, it gets back to the main extreme. So now what we're going to do is we'll actually just play this back. We'll, we'll have it looped at 24 frames a second. We'll see really how this, how the motion goes. So, yeah, I, th I think it's I think it's working. Um, we don't really see you know I don't really see too many things that are like you know blatant problems with the motion. Um, you know, then it's all depending on a person's uh, I guess perspective and approach. If they wanted to do something like you know um, add more time in between when this extreme happens. So I'll show what you what that means. Now I'm gonna loop the animation and play again. So you see, so it's a little subtle difference. So at this point, basically what you could do is you could really just kind of like figure out how you want the motion, you know, how you want those extremes to hold. Because sometimes extremes are also used not only to break down the movement of animation, but also to, to, uh, to accentuate certain, certain um, points of the animation. So, all right, I hope this uh, tutorial was, uh, was helpful. And, uh, you know, uh, as, I, as I develop more stuff, I'll, I'll be sure to share it. Thanks again.